Ahead of Karnataka Assembly discussion on the anti-conversion bill, unknown miscreants allegedly vandalized a church in Chikbalapur district. The miscreants shattered a glass and broke a statue of St. Anthony in the early hours of Thursday. The statue has been taken by the police for the further investigation and an FIR has been filed. The attack was followed by several other similar incidents targeting the Christian community in different parts of the state. Recently, right-wing groups allegedly attacked churches in Belagavi, Bellur and other few parts of the state and threatened the pastors. The Christians in Belagavi district were even suggested by the cops to not conduct any religious gatherings to avoid right-wing attacks. Dear friends, I, Father J. Anthony Daniel, the parish priest of St. Joseph Church, Susai Palia, Chitbalapura district. I am very saddened to inform you that this morning, some unidentified person have broken the statue of St. Anthony. It's a small grotto which was erected some 40 years ago. The intention of the people was, there were many accidents that took place and in the night, the boys and families who come across from Chikbalapura to Susaypalya had been crossing a lot of difficulties. But the intention of keeping the statue was, by the intercession of St. Anthony, the evil past will be demolished. People had a lot of faith and every Tuesday, a lot of devotees from Bangalore and around Chikbalapura and Susaypalya used to go and pray there. But this morning it so saddened that some of our parishioner was travelling from Susaypalya to Chikbalapura has noticed that somebody has broken the statue of St. Anthony. By 6.30 we rushed to the spot and found out that his head and baby Jesus was broken with a huge stone. I went to the police station and gave a complaint. Police have registered a fire case on those unidentified person. This incident took place this morning on 23rd December around 6.30 a.m.